Hello YouTubers, today I am going to talk about the high power LEDs. These LEDs are called high power because they can withstand up to 500 milliamps of current. Meanwhile, the small 5 mm LEDs can withstand up to 30 milliamps or normally the 20 milliamps is good. They operated on minimum of 3 volts and the minimum current they require is more than 60 milliamps. 60 milliamps is minimum current they require to glow up and they can withstand up to 500 milliamps. But the normal LEDs work on 200 milliamps. It's sufficient for high brightness. All the things that I told you, let's do some experiment on them. Firstly, I show you how much current a single LED drawn from the source battery. Now it is a 9 volt battery. After this, I'll make series and parallel combination of LEDs and check out the what the current and the voltage dependence on these LEDs. Firstly, set your multimeter with reading of 10 amps because the previous reading is 200 milliamps and i know that will be not sufficient for high power leds so i put that on 10 amps okay now check out the reading uh, led is glowing and the current flowing through it is 280 milliamps so you can see that the typical current drawn from the source for these LEDs are around 250 milliamps and they can withstand up to 500 milliamps. Let's make the parallel combination of these LEDs. I use 4 LEDs to show you and add one by one in parallel. Firstly, I make this entire row connected parallelly and give power supply to them okay now we connect leds one by one in parallel as you can see when i connect one led the brightness of all these gets lower because my current source is not enough to give current all of these LEDs. Now, this approaches to this extreme limit of current. The total current flowing through the LEDs is 260 milliamps. It means my current source is supplying 260 milliamps to these LEDs and these LEDs are connected in parallel so the current flowing through them is divided by 5 because these are 5 LEDs uh, then the 260 divided by 5 it's 50 milliamps the minimum current is 50 milliamps to glow them not very bright but are little ones which you can see uh, this camera is very low quality so you can see them but in reality I can see the difference these are glowing for the testing of these LEDs I use 9, nine volt battery as you see in parallel combination we need the brightness of the LEDs is depend on the quality of current source the more the current source can supply the current the more LEDs you can connect it in, in parallel but in the case of series combination this is all opposite the number of LEDs that can be connected in series with the source depends upon the voltage of the source not on the current the current of the source should be minimum of 50, uh, 50 milliamps to glow the LEDs but the voltage will drive the all the LEDs in series. Let's check out this series combination. 
firstly we check the voltage of mus source battery and let's check out the voltage the voltage across the terminals is about 8 volts okay for the series combination of the leds we use these pins these pins for series combination and these were for parallel combination okay now let's connect all the leds firstly i connect only two leds and they are glowing well both of them and let's check the current flowing through them current through them is about 90 milliamps uh, these are in series the thus the current flowing through them is same both of them they are glowing very well on 90 milliamps very well let's connect the third leds third led to in series with them you should know about the connections of breadboard before doing this i am giving supply to them but they are not glowing not glowing the two leds are glowing but third one not my connections are perfect but the three leds are not glowing in series reason behind this phenomena is my voltage source or my source battery source is eight it's supplying eight volts and we divide voltage by 3 we get 2.7 volt for each i said you earlier that they need at least 3 volt they don't work on the 2.7 volt so so these leds won't glow until they get at least 3 volt and the minimum of 50 milliamps now you know all about these high power leds that make your own stuff get up and make a torch with these leds these leds are bright enough you can use the five leds and make a high brightness torch get a good battery high capacity battery thumbs up for if you like this video and thumbs down if you dislike this video and subscribe to my channel for watch all the all my videos adios goodbye and see you in the next video